Meanwhile, a bakery in Independence is leading a community-wide fundraiser to help two restaurant owners in Odessa, Ukraine, with their relief efforts. KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim stopped by Eclair de la Luna to hear more about that initiative. And it was a way that we could actually feel as if we were making a personal connection. Owner Erin Latrell was all ears when her Ukrainian customer Lana Viron came into her bakery asking for help. And she just said, hey, do you feel like we could do something, a fundraising effort? So we slept on it and the next morning um, the Ukraine bakery box was born and we came up with seven different pastries. 206 pastry boxes sold and over $13,000 donated. It's created a chain reaction prompting others to donate t-shirts and candles to sell. We just put them out yesterday. Families around the metro even started their own fundraisers, donating the proceeds to help the cause too. People still ask every day, can we donate money still? Can we buy a box? Are you going to do anything for Easter? All the proceeds seeds have been sent to Lana's two friends still in Ukraine, Svetlana and Roman. Lana's family immigrated to the U.S. in the 90s. They live in Odessa, Ukraine. They have been in the restaurant business for 29 years. They have fed Ukrainians through thick or thin and they continue to do so. The couple closed down their business when the war began and started feeding soldiers, orphans and elders using their life savings. The extra donations from here go a long way. It's endearing, it's, it tugs at your heartstrings, but also to know that um, Svita actually learned English just to be able to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. She says that is an indescribable feeling. Thank you very much from all Ukrainian people, uh, from all my big family. Uh, thank you for your help for us. Gian Kim, KSHB 41 News.